Hi everyone, Shana Noel here. I wanted to share with you what's in my bag. I'm going to be going to a Bible journaling retreat, which I'm teaching at, and I'm super excited because at these retreats, I typically get some time to just sit with the ladies and bond and journal together, which is really awesome. And so even though I have luggages and bags, all sorts of stuff filled with all sorts of great stuff, for the ladies, I like to pack my own separate bag just for personal items I may need that aren't a part of the class kit, things like that, just my own basic supplies. So I'm packing my Illustrated Faith bag, which I love. It's so fun and bright and colorful and just cheerful. Here's a peek at kind of the top of it. So I'm gonna walk you through what I wrought for it. Typically when I pack this bag, for just like a daily outing or going to church or anything, my Bible would go in here, but since this is a longer retreat, I knew I wanted to bring some more things. So I have my Bible um, just separate. So this will be for when I'm personally journaling uh, during the class. So I have my cute little pen here, and then we'll just start in the side pocket. I have a bunch of my favorite stickers. Some of them I haven't even opened yet because I've gone through a whole sheet of this one so I had to get out a new one. And I just packed just my basic stickers that I always am reaching for. I love the black homespun alphabet stickers so I always make sure I have lots of those. And then uh, just a variety of alpha. I, I use a lot of alphabet stickers in my journaling so I always make sure to have lots of those. A variety of other stickers and some of my favorite ones um, and then ones I'm wanting to use like this cactus set um, the bright and brave and then the seeds of faith this is my second skew of this sticker too I just love it so I just put them all on this little binder ring really easy and it keeps it all together and then that way when I'm at a desk or something I can just flip through this and get whatever I need I'm not having to worry about you know losing anything it's all super easy and compact and it slips in the side pocket, easy peasy. Another way I like to store my supplies for retreats and classes is actually in a little traveler's notebook cover. So this one is from Chic Sparrow, and I, <laughs> I stuffed these two things in there because they wouldn't fit and I, I decided I wanted to bring them at the last minute. But I buy these inserts for it, which you can get on Amazon. I'll try to link in the video. And what they are is they're for like business cards or just, you know, anything like that. And typically I see most people use one with journals in theirs but I decided to use this as a system so I think I have one two three four in mine and then what I do is I can fit two stamps in each pocket so I'm bringing my Texas stamp that it was an exclusive that I designed for a class a while ago and since I'm going back to Texas I thought I definitely needed to bring that because I'll be journaling about our journey there and then some when I'm packing stamps for something that I don't know exactly where I'll be going in the word, things like that. I pack stamps that either I know I use often, like the Created to Create stamp, or stamps that maybe even aren't faith-based, but are ones that I have that are ones that I've been wanting to use. So if I get a new stamp, like this one's a new one from Studio Calico, I haven't used it a ton yet, so I wanted to make sure to pack it because when I get new supplies, I don't want them just to go into my supply basket. I want to use them at least a couple times before that happens. So this is an old one from Allie Edwards, I believe. Just some older stamps that I just, I dig out. I wanna make sure that they get some use as well. This one's actually from the Thanksgiving Illustrated Faith Kit that Jess designed. Another old Allie Edwards one. Again, I just pulled out ones that I wanted to use, make sure to use. Uh, this is a, a vintage, <laughs> not vintage, I mean, we aren't that old. Illustrated Faith stamp and then another older Illustrated Faith stamp. The reason I didn't put these two in here is because if I did, it was just getting too um, bulky with it in the pocket, so I just stuck them in the front. This is another Studio Calico stamp. This is um, another stamp that we designed, Becca designed for us. And just a whole bunch of ones that I, I find myself reaching for often that are kind of generic ones that just really speak to the way I journal. I put this little cute little button on the front I got from um, CHA or Creativation with some fabric. Just cute and happy. And they all just fit in there nicely. And then I just had this kind of sitting on top 
since it goes with it, since it was sitting upwards in my bag. All right, let's see what else is in here. I have our Illustrated Faith watercolors. Let's see what set I grabbed. An open one, yay. <laughs> um, and I reach for these often. I use them a, a ton in my Bible journaling, whether it just be for highlighting text, adding a little sprinkle across the page, or doing a full watercolor layout. As I said before, anytime I get a new supply, I want to make sure to use it before I put it into my stash. And so I picked up this die cut line or die cut set from American Crafts. And it's just cute. I wanted to make sure to pull it out. Not everything I use is faith based. Sometimes I really started using scrapbooking supplies before we had started as Illustrated Faith. And so I still love to incorporate these into my into my journaling pages. Okay, I love with this bag to have little tins of items. I just like how they hold up straight. They're really compact and they don't smush. So anything like in particular in this one, I have my Neo Color crayons, which I don't like to break. If you put them in like a bag, they can easily break. So by keeping them in this tin, I know that they're safe. And um, I also kind of like that it, it confines you to a certain number. So instead of packing all my Neo Color crayons, I only packed, you know, the, the bright colors and ones I find myself reaching for a lot. So I just pop those in there. And then on the bottom of this, I just brought a couple of Prima ink edgers. Again, limiting to whatever would fit in here is kind of my philosophy. I'm not gonna need a ton. And those are my favorite colors. This is a vintage first aid kit that I picked up at a local thrift, or I guess it was more like a flea market. Super fun. And this one you've probably seen in my other bag unboxing, I guess. <laughs> But I just keep my basic supplies in here. So my book at stamp, which shows I can easily reference what scripture I'm doing because it says like chapter and then you can put the chapter, verse, that sort of thing, refer to God's word, scripture. I just love this one. I find myself reaching for it almost every time now. And then my our date at stamp from Illustrated Faith, which again, I use this one for sure. Some a small pair of scissors. The small stays on ink. Um, several pins, an adhesive roller, and then just a couple paint cards. I know I packed some of these for our class, so if I need more or friends need some, I'll have those for them as well. I just like how this keeps all my basic supplies right in here, and um, I don't have to be looking for them all the time. Let's see if I can fit them back in here. I doubt I'll be able to. <laughs> well, not too bad, actually. Okay, so one new thing that I did pack in here was the sticker book. I believe this comes with over 2,000 stickers. So it's 30 sheets and this is found at Hobby Lobby. They have picked up a couple of planners from us from the She Blooms line. So if you have a Hobby Lobby and are a planner girl, maybe go check those out. Um, I use planners in a different way and I, I haven't been doing mine to be honest lately. I've been really in, really in the word and really in my Bible almost daily. Um, if not last weekend, I did like a 10 entries one day. It was just, I was just loving it. And so I love these for Bible journaling also like these little banners, the little corners. I use some of these even as little tabs. Um, but these, because the planner and the Bible are similar, sizes and scale these work really well in there too and then i also love these words back here i'm always reaching for words so the fact that all these are included is so fun so you can check that out at hobby lobby if you haven't seen it i did include um one journal which i have kind of in here as a scrap journal to just if i need to scrape some paint off or just take a couple quick notes and it's not in my Traveler's Notebook, I can have that available. And then I, I, I try to keep this with me whenever I'm teaching just because this is the devotional from the starter kit and it's such a great resource. In here I talk about different ways in which I get into Bible journaling. So through prayer, through scripture, through sermon notes, through my favorite worship songs, through documenting my testimony through devotionals and just all sorts of different answers on what 
are different ways to get into the word to document your walk. I love this. It's a great resource. So I actually take this with me because I know I'll encounter people that are brand new to Bible journaling on this journey. And so I want to be able to say, hey, look at this. And these are some really great ideas and might answer some of those questions for you. I keep just a tiny bit of washi. Um, I did bring more washi for teaching, but just for my personal use while I'm journaling, I brought some of our new thicker washi. I really love this one because it's great. It's almost like a roll of little labels. So this is like devotional, praise report, sermon. And I just love having that really quick reference point with washi, it's super fun. And then my two favorites are the crisscross washi. So this black one I use almost every layout. <laughs> and then the color one's super fun as well. And then just some skinny washi also because why not? Anything that fits in this bag, I just called it a day. So put that back in there. And then what's nice about having it in this little bag is it can kind of just sit on top and take up any of that extra room on top without it over pouring in my bag. All right, so that's it for the big pocket. That was all in the big pocket, so it does hold a ton. I do have some things in these little side pockets here. And I just packed a bunch of small alphabets. I'm an alphabet like junkie, I guess, because I, <laughs> I use them on all, all the time. Um, that's what happens when you're not super great at hand lettering, <laughs> I suppose. And then this is one of the inserts that comes with the bag. And so I tried to put some tabs because I use a tab on almost every layout or entry I do. So that way I just have them really easy to go, not have to worry too much about getting my tab punch out. Um, and these are all in colors that I know I'll, I'll use and reach for. So I keep all of my tabs in a big jar. And so then when I'm traveling or need to take some with me, I just grab a handful and stuff it in here. Works really well. All right, so I'm just putting that. I keep that one for right now in this little side inner pocket. And that way everything kind of stays nice and organized. This kind of is falling apart because my stuff fell. But I also have a tiny attacher. I use this often when I'm journaling. If you haven't checked this out, it's just super fun. I love it. And then one more of the little bags that come in it. I have mostly our paper pieces in here that all have Bible verses on the back. These are really easy to use. And also if I'm just feeling like I need to find inspiration, I'm feeling like, you know, where should I start? This is always a great place to start. And I also have some in here also that are, are scrapbooking die cuts that I've been wanting to use. Sorry. Okay. So in the back I have Let's see how many. One, two, three, four. I have five Bible mats <laughs> because I don't know why. Because I like love them. I definitely use almost two on every one. And it's just always nice to have them for other people that might not have them available. Let's get those out. I have more in my teaching bag, but just in case my neighbor when I'm Bible drilling doesn't have one, I can give one to her. Um, this is a bag from the January kit and I love keeping these bags for putting embellishments in for when you're traveling. I also really love to give these bags away as a little pick me up if you fill it up with an encouraging card and maybe just a little gift. It's just super sweet. So in here I keep these embellishments which these taxis and crosses are some of the ones I use a ton and I knew that and so I knew I'd want to bring them with me but I don't keep them in their original packaging and because of that they can be a little, I don't know, hard to travel with. So that's why I keep them all together and then I just put them in this bag and that way it keeps it all nice and neat in there and I don't even have to worry about it. So that slips in the side pocket and I just push, like kind of put that one at the bottom and then I put this one on top of it. This is an art supply bag and it's just super cute. I'll try to find a link for it. It's by blue Q, which I'm sure you guys are all familiar with their bags. They're just so fun. And I just have some more pins in here. Um, I have a pigment liner. I have a white pen. I have a Sharpie, some, I have a pencil, some paint brushes, additional types of journaling pins, just because you never know what you might need. And I put all those in there. So I think that about covers everything I brought in my bag. If you guys haven't checked out this bag yet, it's super, 
fun, super beautiful. As you can see, I fit like a ton in it. One of the, my favorite things is that it does lie flat. And so that way, if you're short on space in your Bible journaling space, whether you're going to a retreat or just at home, if this is as much space as you can take up and you just can fold this up and put it in a closet when you're done, it just works really great because then you could have, you know, all your supplies out here. Really simple, easy to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, stop my voiceover for right now and just kind of speed up this process of me packing it back in here so once again you can kind of see how much goes in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys soon. I'll make sure to leave links for everything in the description below if you haven't checked out this bag. I'm super loving it. All right guys, have a wonderful day.